Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Stable Diffusion on a single board computer. In this case, the Raja Rock 5A. So, OKDo OK is also a manufacturer of the Rock boards. And they shared a link to this article from Nick Build, where he explains how you can get Stable Diffusion working on a Rock 5 Model A. So, first, he also explains how to get a Debian image and how to write it to an SD card. Um, and also do sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. Um, and from there, you're ready to install on extreme. And you have also have to take into account that they are using the scripts for the user rock. So if you have a different username, then you have to replace that because otherwise it won't work for you. So let's see. I've tried a couple of things. So here you can see that I'm running the Linux kernel for the rock 5a. And yeah, I'm currently in the on extreme directory. So, but if we go to a home, yeah, so in my case, Raja, so you can see I created the on extreme directory. You can change the directory to that one. Um, you can install CMake, build essential. So perhaps you also need to install Git and also install Unrar. So if I go back into my history, so you can put that all on one line. Also with the build essential, and from there, yeah, you can clone uh, the XNN pack. Not really sure why they want to have a specific revision. Um, so if you do this command, then you get a identifier. And the identifier will look something like this. So you can copy that and then uh, paste it again uh, when you're doing the git checkout. Uh, you have to create the build directory, change your directory into that. Do the CMake commands. So here you also have to be careful that the script is written for the user rock. So if you have a different username, you have to change this. And just follow this procedure. And so this is to build on extreme. And I think, yeah, this is created by Vito Plentamura, I hope I pronounced that correctly. So a big thank you to Vito. And of course, also a big thank you to the Stable Diffusion team. Uh, so you can just follow all these commands. And here also you have to make sure you're changing this into your own username. And 
Now, if you do this command, also make sure you change the username again. This is how you get the model file. Uh, it has Windows in the name, but it just works without any problem for Linux. And this is, uh, well, you can all also do this just in one go, uh, installing UNRAR with the other packages that you need for building it. And then you can unpack the model file. So let's see if we can find... So, yeah, I think we... Is it this one? Yeah, so it's around 2.2 .2 gigabytes, 1240 files unpacked. So once you've done that, then it says you're good to go. So you need to also change your username here also. So change the directory to the on extreme and then you can execute stable diffusion uh, here's also make sure you change your username again and with the prompt so the thing or the text that you write between the quotes that is what stable diffusion will try to uh, turn into an image. Um, you've got some other parameters. I haven't really played around with it yet. Um, so that's something I need to investigate more. Uh, so with the default parameters, then images, they take up around four, five, perhaps six minutes, something like that. So. Here's a result that the author did before, a photo of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. Um, single board computer running a machine learning algorithm to control a robot. Well, looks like they skipped the robot. Um, yeah, of course, this is not as good as the commercial generative AI programs out there. Um, so if you think that you need like, uh, yeah, a more professional results, then in that case, I think it still makes sense to uh, pay for a better AI generative service or perhaps invest in a very big GPU. Um, but I think the good part is, is that uh, here it says that they tested this on a Pi Zero 2W. And, but it took over one hour. Let's see. So here they say four to six minutes on the Rock 5. Um, so I'm not really sure where it says like one and a half hour for the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, Raspberry Pi Zero. And um, although it is very impressive that with so little RAM that it's still able to generate images. So here it says about an hour and a half. So, but with the Rock 5, 
you can do it in like four to six minutes um yeah i already tried some examples so here i said uh, a penguin working on a laptop well uh perhaps it try to keep the penguin anatomically correct but yeah it's um yeah perhaps because a penguin doesn't really have fingers then it didn't really know what to do with it exactly but in itself you know you can recognize this as a penguin and you can recognize this as a laptop so yeah it's not bad um the last thing i tried was a flying dragon breathing fire at a castle well that didn't go that well um you can say you can recognize a dragon face and perhaps this looks a bit like a castle but breathing fire well that one is not really interpreted that well or generated that well um so i don't know if you get better results if you can uh, work with a different model file so so here they uh, specified a model file so I don't know if it was really specific for uh, this project or that you can just try to get a updated stable diffusion model file from somewhere else so but all in all I'm very impressed that um, you can run stable diffusion on a rock chip RK3588S. Uh, in this case, I have eight gigabytes, but as you saw from this article, uh, they even managed to do it on a Pi Zero with only 512 MB of RAM. So from here, I yeah, I have to investigate a bit more what I can do with the prompt with Stable Diffusion. And my next step is also to see if I can get this working on my Vision 5 to Risk 5 SBC. That one is probably going to be a lot slower than the Rockchip RK3588. But we'll see the results uh, in my next video so again a big thank you to okdo and also to nick build and where is his name again uh fita plantamura and of course the stable diffusion team so that's all for now and i hope to see you again in my next video